500 racers, 1,000 passes, 14 hours to find one ultimate winner. I'm Rich Christensen, and this is Pink's All Out. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. This week on Pink's All Out, racer Joseph Chrysophil struggles to keep his bucking 73 Nova under control. Did he jump? He jumped. He didn't jump. He couldn't have jumped. No! Did he jump? We're going to contest this. Hey, hey, let's go. He didn't jump. No! No! He jumped? He did, he did not jump. Hey, if he rolled, that's a jump. The search for the best grassroots racers in America has brought the Pink's All Out crew back to West Palm Beach, Florida. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Pink's All Out. Here we go for another season. I can't believe it. I got the best guys in the world. They're your court of appeals. You have a problem, talk to them. Out in the pits, top fuel champion Clay Milliken gets into the heads of his fellow racers. It's going to be you and your car against Rich. Radio personality and speed junkie Willie B checks out the impressive machines. The old school gasser style, that thing would be a handful to drive. While race car fabricator and pairings guru Ken Herring is already sizing up the competition. I see better racing this year, you know, definitely, hands down. Today, we make our statement with Pink's All Out. It's a brand new season, some new rules, and new attitude. We're gonna get very serious about finding the right racer to get that money to today. The rules have changed. All bets are off. Racers earn more with every round, and the money they win, they keep. The All Out 16 win a $550 prize package from Wix. The All Out 8, $500 cash. The All Out 4, $750. Make it to the final and pocket a cool grand. Win the final and drive home with $10,000 cash. It's a pot worth $25,000, the biggest in Pink's All Out history. And this year, it's all about racer versus rich. Are you gonna be ready to go against Rich? I'll be ready for Rich. Down here in South Florida, the locals love soaking up the sun. Great weather, no snow. That's where everybody wants to be. And the speed. Maybe bigger in Texas, but faster in Florida. I'm gonna win the show, man. It's all here. A ride like this, only in South Florida. Hundreds of hopefuls descend, but Rich isn't about to fork over the 10 large grand prize to just anybody. He needs to find out who's here to have fun versus who's here to race. So every racer is put through two qualifying rounds. First is a race off the tree, testing the readiness of the racer. I, I ain't gonna be late on the tree, so I know that. As well as the car. The survivors move on to round two, where they face down Rich and his arm drop for the first time. Yeah, I just had to convert my mind from lights to, to arms. And after the burnout smoke clears, there's no doubt which class of cars has really shown up to race. The old school muscle machines of the 10.6 to 10.8 classes scored the tightest runs. And out of this insanely competitive field, 32 are chosen to race in the Pink's All Out 32 car runoff, where they'll battle it out for a spot in the All Out 16. All right, racers, this is the moment you've been waiting for. In my hand, I hold 32 opportunities at $10,000 cash. Car 297. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Car 59. I just got picked for Pink's All Out. And the final car, your chance at $10,000 is car 254. We've wanted to do this for two years. Hey, alternates, be ready. Have your cars ready. If any of these guys can't make it, if any of these guys are broke, you're in the show. As the racers line up in the staging lanes, wouldn't you know it, a car's already broken down. I broke my timing chain. I came in here and told everybody. How are we doing well? Uh, Hey, Rich. Hey, Rich. Yeah. He broke his timing chain. You got to get an alternate. 
Yeah. I waited three years to get on Pink's All Out, and I, I tell us Attention in the pits. Racer 200, you are in the show. Get to the staging lanes immediately. We're ready to suit them up. But the alternate's car isn't doing all that great either. Have we got a transmission problem? No. I got it. I got You're it. You're good? I got it. If Earl Scott can't get his Monte Carlo to the starting line, his shot at winning 10 grand ends in the pits. And now it's time for the Pink's All Out 32 car runoff. Less than two tenths of a second separates the fastest from the slowest in this incredibly tight field of Chevys, Fords, Mopars, and Buicks. These 32 hardcore backyard built machines are going fender to fender for a spot in the All Out 16, getting that much closer to driving home with $12,250 in cash and prizes. At the back of the staging lanes, lucky alternate Earl Scott is running out of time to get his Monte Carlo in full gear, literally. It has no reverse. I'm a racer myself now. We know we ain't got no reverse, so what are you going to do? Just make it to the line. Just make it to the line. Make it to the line. Reverse? No. Do we need it? No. We race. Don't do a burnout too far, huh? No, we're good. We're good. We're you good. sure you're good? Yeah. Where's Earl? Yeah, he doesn't have reverse. Really? You gotta love the Duke of Earl. He's got a lot of work to do to stay in this show. Right lane. Hey, if Earl would have chunked that start, he would have been in it. Earl was beat to the finish line. Looks like he's out. When from the tower, a surprise ruling comes down from timing ref Brian Basson. Wait, 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 wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the right lane was too fast. Oh. Earl is moving on. What? He picked up significant time in the right lane. Oh, wow. The Duke of Earl moves on. Rob Benson's 84 Mustang picked up a disqualifying four tenths of a second, which means Earl's luck just got him into the all-out 16. Not only that, his fan base is growing. Even the guy he replaced has joined Team Earl. My crew, we're all, we're all together with him. Absolutely. Maybe this is my new life. Good luck. <laughs> Instead of bad. <laughs> It's already been an incredible day of racing. Out of hundreds, only 16 die-hard, lightning-quick racers remain. It's an experience of a lifetime, no doubt. I'm trying to keep calm. That's my biggest thing. I just can't believe that we're here. Oh, man, I'm in the 16, baby. That's exciting. Ken, Clay, and Willie B head to the pairings board to match the all-out 16. All these guys are running right together. You know, ET-wise, it should be all a good match. And it's a no-brainer who needs to start the ball rolling. I think 200 has his hands full. He'll be, oh, yeah. He'll be an underdog. You got to go with the alternate Earl. Let's stack the underdog up first, and then let's just start squaring up the ones we like. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the Pink's All Out 16. Congratulations, racers. Then you have a $550 certificate, direct mail. Send what you want into Wix, and they're going to make sure that you have it. Plus, you got a t-shirt and a hat and all kinds of great things. So you're not leaving empty-handed. Already, you're winning. But now, why are you here? To win the money. Why are you here? To have fun. Change that. Fun is over. If you're having fun and he's racing, you're losing. Win with class, lose with class, but race your guts out, OK? Get to your cars, boys, gentlemen. Good luck, and let's race. Come on now. The staging lanes are set for the all-out 16. These rumbling mid-10-second cars have barely an eye's blink worth of time between them. $500 and a spot in the all-out eight is on the line. At this level, racers have only one choice if they want to win, be the first to leave on Rich's arm drop. It's either that or go home. Here we go, your boy from Ontario, Canada, right here. Traveled 2,300 miles 
to race here tonight. He's owned this car for over 34 years. I'm just going to go and do my best. Try to be consistent like I've been all weekend. And try to nail him with the arm drop, and hopefully we win another round. In this lane, we have Earl the underdog. Sunday, this car was in pieces. His wife didn't know he was racing tonight. She showed up, stole his helmet, took off through the pit area. She was bad at him. I'm pulling for myself. I want to win this. It'll make my wife happy. All right, Earl, the Cinderella story. You ready, folks? Here we go. Coming up, things get personal. He called you out. We'll see when the drop drops. And later, the crew uncovers a secret deal. We agree to split it 50-50 if okay. we go together. Hey guys, this is Lisa Kubo. Like, share, and subscribe to SpeedTube TV. Perfect. Pink's All Out is at the Palm Beach International Raceway, smoking up the sunny skies of South Florida. We're in the middle of race one of the All Out 16. The underdog, alternate Earl Scott, is racing his Monte Carlo against Canadian Mark Wejack's 73 Cuda. Oh! Seen him at the light and didn't see him the rest of the way. Just went all out. Earl, how are you, buddy? Good. Hey, you were the, uh, you had the shot, man. It was good. It was fun watching you. Well, thanks for coming Thank out. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Tires weren't hot enough. The motor was a little cold still. Made it as far as I did. I wanted the money, but I had a great time. Willie, talk to me, brother. Right here we have Bo in the Chevy Monza small block paraglide. I've been around it all my life. My dad used to drag race my uncle back in the 60s and 70s out of this track. In this lane, we have Tom in the 80 Camaro. It's just a rush. I don't know how to explain it. You know, the adrenaline's going. You're watching the guy drop his arm. ahead of me in the beginning and then I ran him down. Right there at the end, he really got me um, probably by a foot and a half, two foot. Willie, who do we got next? We have David right here in what would appear to be a 1978 Buick Skylark. Only one thing, it's actually a 78 Nova. My strategy is just keep, just keep treeing, keep hitting the arm drop on, and if, if it's meant to be, it'll fall in place. On this side, a 68 Chevelle 383 small block. This is a street driven car. When I won the first race in the 32, I almost cried when I turned that corner down. I was so friggin' happy. Best round win of my life. Breathtaking. Just the excitement, the thrill, and the people, and the show, and the cameras, and unbelievable. Thing about it is, we're used to running a pro tree. Well, Rich stayed up for three, four seconds while I'm on the break. But, you know, I knew. I knew that was a possibility. Here we go. Robert on this side with a stock stroke 351 Windsor. He drove it 600 miles to race in Concord, North Carolina. A pink's all out. The first pass loses transmission. Tonight, his redemption. This just pumps through my vein, man. I love it. It's all I do every weekend race. Mike in the 94 Ford Mustang is powered by a small block Chevy. Hybrid, hybrid. He said it's built Ford tough with Chevy stuff. I just come to have fun. So in the beginning, so now I want to win. So I put icing on the cake. Right lane, right lane. Oh! The hybrid won. Oh. I know I went past him and I held him off, so you know, it's getting excited now. That's close. I watched him the whole way, man. Right there at the end, it just looked like I, he just got me. 
four spots left. Who do we got coming up? James on this side, 72 Vega. It's going to be a good race. I know, I know what he can do, so. It's going to be a good race right to the finish line. Pretty good story with Rick 75 Vega. A friend of his a couple years ago actually built the motor and passed away. He says he talks to him every lap. Because it's kind of special because it's all I have left of him. And here it is, got me into pinks. All out final 16. If you like those stick cars, watch this right lane. A couple spots left. This team has got it. Coming up, Tom Russoto's out for Mopar blood. Why do you not like Mopars, Tom? Because I have a Chevy. And later. This ain't in, Chuck. He was gone. I think it rolled a little bit, it stopped, and then he left. Pink's All Out is at the Palm Beach International Raceway near the sandy coastline of South Florida. It's the fifth race of the All Out 16 and two Vegas are pitted against each other for $500 and a spot in the all-out eight. Good pass, left lane's moving on. I love the arm drop, yeah, I, I, I got a good jump. This is absolutely awesome, we're having some fun now. Pulled me up a little bit too far out of the uh, burnout box, tires didn't get hot enough, and uh, sure enough, we spun on the starting line. Couldn't get it back. We have Mike in this one. 74 Duster for all you Mopar fans here tonight. Built it completely with his 16 and 17 year old sons who are watching dad perform the night. This car's in memory of my dad who passed. That's why it's in, in memory of Ski. That was his, uh, his nickname. Another Mopar. This will be a 73 Roadrunner owned by John Taylor. I'm not usually one of the luckiest people in the world, so the fact that I made it down to the 16, it's been a damn lucky day for me. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on now. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! 3.8 feet. Left lane was good. It's moving on. Car was straight as an arrow. I looked over, I didn't see him, so I just kept on going. Awesome feeling. We were just running nose to nose out there. He inched ahead of me a couple inches, I inched ahead of him, he inched back, and that's pretty much where it stayed. All right, on this side, a 95 Chevy pickup truck. Last night, he blows up the rear end, drives it home about an hour and a half. He hasn't slept or showered. Every round, if I make it more rounds, that's... It's more exciting, more, it gets more exciting to me. A 94 S10. An LS1 motor, small block Chevy, out of a Florida airboat. Anybody know what a Florida airboat is? I got friends that tell me I'm going through a midlife crisis racing. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just enjoy it, man. It's great. You're just a tiny bit late, so it could have been going either way. Willie, who's going for this last spot to make it a pinch all out eight? Here we go, Rich. It'll be a 68 Chevelle 360 small block Chevy power. Competition's tight, so that's where the weight race is won right there. This guy, 73 Nova 468 big block. I broke two trannies in two weeks, and it was a really, it was a struggle to get it in a race, but we got it here. Finally, it's between me and Rich. Hey, Devon, I know how bad you wanted this, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know. I saw it in your eyes when you were at the uh, pink circle there. He came around me about 800,000 foot out there. He ran out of track. Oh, yeah. Eight have fallen, and eight remain. Willie B, Ken, and Clay meet at the pairings board to size up the competition. It's been an unbelievably tight field, so tight, the pink's all-out crew needs to hear it from the racers themselves. 
who's gunning for who. If there's one brand you love beating, you love showing them your taillights, what is it? A Mopar. Bring them on. Tom, Mark, fantastic job. Here's your $500 that you earned. Here's your $500. You. Your opponent doesn't like Mopars. Why do you not like Mopars, Tom? Because I have a Chevy. <laughs> Simple as that. I'd race as hard as you've ever raced in your life because this next race is for $750 cash and a spot in the pink's all out for. Shake hands, boys. Get your cars. Let's race. Here we go. Everybody likes to be a little confident, but do you feel like maybe you might be pushing it a little bit? Are you ready? I'm ready. Mopar guy in my life. I've never owned a Chevy, so <laughs> I'm going to tree him. Or I'm going to definitely try to tree him. Let's fire him up, boys. Come on. Mopar hating Tom Rosoto's 600 horsepower 1980 Camaro is rearing to send Mark Weejack's 440 cubic inch 73 Cuda back to Canada. Coming up. What? $10,000 jump? Yeah, jump? And later. What are you going to need to do to beat this man? He looks like he wants to kill you. Pink's All Out is at the Palm Beach International Raceway in sun soaked South Florida. The sun's gone down, but the tracks lit up with Florida's best driveway built dragsters. It's the first race of the All Out Eight. Tom Rusoto's 1980 Camaro is trying to crush Mark Weejack's Mopar. Are you surprised? Yeah, come on, man, it's a Chevy. I'm hoping right to here. do the same thing to everybody else. You did a great <laughs> job. I'm very proud of you. I'm very thankful that you made it out tonight. That's one Mopar down. Willie B, Ken, and Clay return to the racers, and wouldn't you know it, they dig up a second Mopar hater. Anybody you don't like. All of them. Every, every <laughs> one of them. I, I wouldn't mind taking out a Mopar. Oh, here we got it. He called you out. We'll see when the drop drops. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right, Ricky, here's $500. Michael, here's $500. Now, what's the secret to, to getting a good start off of my arm drop? Rick? Concentration. Mike? Just a flinch. You treated the heck out of me last race. Rick, you weren't so sitting bad yourself. Let me ask you something. Anybody interested in racing for $750 a spot in the all-out four? Absolutely. Absolutely. Shake hands, roll your cards, and let's race, my gentlemen. Good luck. I'm on a roll. No fear. Well, just just, another, fear just another racer. Both of these men are racing for more than just money. The engine in Rick Smith's 75 Vega was built by a friend who recently passed away. He's a great guy. I mean, he was like a father to me. Uh, we did a bunch of stock car racing together and, and he taught me a lot. We argued like sons and fathers and we won a lot of races together and I just wish he could be here. And Mike Grimzinski's 74 Duster is dedicated to the memory of his father. This was a pretty much a tribute car to him. We grew up drag racing as kids, my brother and I. It's, it's big to be here and, and be into it, you know, and, and get this far. It's hard. Uh, he just taught me everything I knew. Let's go, let's get him right now, come on. Ricky in the left, Michael in the right. just moved on in the competition. He used to own a Mopar, now he hates Mopar. That's what I get for being cocky, huh? The trash talker, he's going home. <laughs> you had it to do all over again? I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> the third pairing of the All Out 8 pits the last two Novas of the competition against each other. David and Joe's times are within one one hundredth of a second. There's only one way to win a race this tight be the first off Rich's arm drop. There's $500, you guys get that shot? What so. is your strategy to beat David tonight? Concentrating on you. Okay, what do you look for? A flinch. That's interesting, what about you? Same thing. You're not more specific. Uh, I don't want to give that to my competitor. Shake hands, gentlemen, and let's I'm race. Try your cars, double time. Game time. I'm gonna kill the tree, I'm gonna take Rich's arm drop, and I'm gonna knock him off the stand, I'm gonna blow by him so fast. I'm gonna put that methanol wagon on the trailer. Burn him out, boys. 
The 355 cubic inch motor under David Wolf's Skylark Nova crossbreed may pump out 100 more horses than Joseph Chrysophil's purebred 468. All right, Dave, go, this is it. But both of these masters of speed know it's not the engine that wins a drag race. It's the driver that doesn't blink. Rest in heat jump. Coming up, a Don't jump is so close, Rich takes a second look. Oh. And later. Houston, we have a problem? I don't know, did I win or lose? Hey, if you like drag racing like I like drag racing, then you need to click, subscribe, ring the bell, Speed Tube TV. Haven't heard of it? You're going to. Pink's All Out is at the newly renovated Palm Beach International Raceway in the speed mecca of West Palm Beach, Florida. Out of hundreds of hopefuls, we're down to the middle of the third race in the All Out 8. Only two races remain. Two more slots to get one step closer to $10,000 cash. The pressure's on. And in the left lane, racer Joseph Chrysophil struggles to keep his bucking 73 Nova under control. The trans brake is a device that holds the car in reverse and first gear at the same time. This puts literally tons of pressure on the transmission. Letting go of the trans brake releases the reverse and the car explodes off the line. Many drag racers swear by it, insisting the trans brake gives them a strategic edge over foot braking. But for Joe Chrysophil, that strategy may have just backfired. Go to the tape. It's gonna take a second, guys. We gotta bring the tape all the way down. He didn't jump! I must say! Did he jump? I don't think it's good. We'll have to see what the replay shows. I'm hoping that's my brother's car, you know, that's my brother. I know Rich didn't move, his car was already out past the corner of my eye. So there was no doubt in my mind he jumped. Now you see if he rolled out of the beams. That's what we're looking for. And if I'm wrong, I'll come back on your TV camera and tell you that I'm wrong. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Oh! He jumped! No! Oh. The tape doesn't lie. Joseph Chrysophil jumped. He's out, and David Wolf's chance at $10,000 survives for one more round. It is what it is. The tape says he jumped. I'll take that. Joe, you're going to yell at me, are you? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, it was so close, we had to go back and look. OK. And your entire team, you're going to be happy to know, was so supportive of you. They were ready to beat me on the track. Well, I told him I was going to give him 1% apiece. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe. The one that jumped, 122. Clay, you can throw him down. I was dead wrong. It's down to the final race of the All Out 8, and it's friend against friend after a secret deal blows up in their faces. Oh, yes, I do. Yes. OK, uh, which one? Mike, we agreed to split it 50-50 if we were to go together. No, we're going to race you guys, pair you guys up. We found out you, could, uh, you happen to know somebody in the mix here. Buddy Joe. Yeah. How good friends are you guys? Real good. 
Real yeah. good. If How we good make it to the end, I'll show you. Are y'all going to make it to this round? Uh-uh. -uh. This round? You said you guys were going to split it 50-50 if one of you won. Yeah. That's not going to happen. We're going to pair you guys up right now. Hey, Rich. It was Joseph here that told us that actually slipped up. He goes, we asked him if he knew yeah. anybody here in the uh, in the eight. And he was like, yeah, I know a boy over there. And uh, we're going to split the money if one of us makes it. Both me and Ken just looked at each other and were like, uh-uh. Joe, Mike, there you go. Listen, you earned that $500. You. Guys, the cardinal sin of Pink's All Out is splitting the money. If you're not cold shark killers to get to that finish line first, you race differently when you're racing for the money. I don't care about the show you want to put on and splitting the money. I don't want to see your show. I don't care about your pride race. I care that you're killing each other for that $10,000. So, this is the best friend race. There's nothing more to say. Shake hands and let's race, boys. I mean, you're racing your best friend over here, your buddy. Tell me about it. I want to beat him. Absolutely. He's not my friend right now. Let's see the burnout. Joseph Troja's 575 horsepower Airboat S10 is about to go head to head against Mike Goff's Mustang, beating with the sleek heart of a 400 cubic inch Chevy. And now it's for one spot to get into the all-out four. Here we go. Step in the now that's a race. They race their guts out. I got him from the jump. He'd come around me right at the very end. It was close. Joe's S10 beat his buddy to the finish line by half a car's length. Houston, you have a problem? Timing ref Brian Bassone calls down an unexpected ruling. Oh. Uh, I don't know, did I win or lose? Way too fast, buddy, he's out. Ladies and gentlemen, the left lane's going home, the right lane's moving on, the left lane is too fast. He went too right, fast? Yeah. Oh, boy. Joseph Troja's S10 picked up four tenths of a second, enough to blow past Mike's Mustang and more than enough to disqualify him. Thank you. Still want to split it? <laughs> it's now down to the all out four, Florida's four best racers gunning for a spot in the final and $1,000 cash. And knowing Tom Rosotto, He's got one thing on his mind. Another one on the lot. Uh, I'm seeing you it. You want to trailer him? I'm going to trailer him, yeah. You know, our boy over here says he likes to love those Mopars. He's loaded one. Yeah, that's what the last guy said. <laughs> he went home. <laughs> All right, Tom, $750. Mike, $750. Sure. So here we are. We have the Mopar that stayed in the competition with the Chevy that took one out. What's going to change on this one? I'm just going to do the same thing on this one. You're, you're there. You're in the zone? I'm there. I'm there. Mopar. How are you going to take this Chevy down? Just watching you. OK. This is for $1,000. This is a shot of the finals. You shake hands, fight it out, boys. Good luck. Good luck. There's got to be a winner and a loser. I'm looking to be the winner. You going to do it? I'm going to do it. It's not a personal thing. It's a $10,000 thing. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Fire them up. Let's see the burnouts, boys. Come on. Mike Grimzinski's big block 440 duster is itching to stomp on another Chevy, while Tom Rosotto's 600 horsepower Camaro is out to skin its second Mopar. Fur, a spot in the final! of a second, separated him, left lane treat me. Mopar's winning me money tonight. <laughs> I was sleeping at the line. He jumped me, that was it. I couldn't catch him. Stayed that way all the way down. That's the second Chevy Mike's Mopar has claimed, and the last in the running. The second and final matchup of the All Out Four is one of the weirdest in Pink's All Out history. 
Mike Goff's small block Chevy powered Mustang versus David Wolf's 600 horsepower 78 Nova masquerading as a Skylark. What's going on here? All kinds of crazy stuff. What are you going to do? Put him on the trailer. That's all we want to hear. All right. Now, the car, you can laugh and joke, but once I strap on that helmet and get behind that seat, it's the racer's eye, and I'm ready to go. I like that confidence. Oh, that Put it right there, man. Do it. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy it. Once in a lifetime. Mike, step in. Here's $750. Thanks. David, $750. Thank you. His car ran so good the last pass, it was scary, all right? So what are you going to do to beat this man right now? Same thing. It's worked all day. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to focus on you, focus on the drop, let the car do everything it needs to do. Mike, you took out your best friend. What are you going to need to do to beat this man? He looks like he wants to kill you. Try to beat him on the arm drop. Are you ready for this fight? Please shake hands and show me who the best racer is. Good luck, guys. All day long, these guys have been running and rolling. One mile an hour separates the difference of them. A hundredth of a second right here. All right, guys, let's go. Not all, focused, ready to go. Got to win it. My crew knows 60 seconds before I run, leave me alone. I just get in the zone. You have been so calm all night. Are you nervous under there? I mean, you just kind of got this calm demeanor going, you know? Uh, a little bit. A little nervous? I was more nervous in the beginning because I wanted to do good. So. Right. Two cars, one spot, a 50% chance at the finals. Let's see the burnouts, boys. Come on. This is going to be good. Come on now. Come on now. Coming up. Straight up mess up. And later. Willie, poke your head in his car and ask him what happened. That's not the way it's supposed to go. They're supposed to race for the money. Pink's All Out is down to the second and final race in the All Out Four. Cool Hand Mike Goff's 94 Mustang is facing off against the zen-like focus of David Wolf and his 78 Skylark. They're racing for $1,000 and the last spot in the final. Yeah! It is what it is. He put that old back road hole shot on him. That's what happened. We stole him. We're still in it. We're going to take that money home tonight. Well, I'm ready to go to the next round. He'll Something. bend over backwards to help anybody out. Yeah, you will. Bend over backwards, man, and get sure right off his bat. He got me. He got he you, got brother. Me. He but you know, my own game. you beat you at your own game. I was just going to, dude, I would have bet everything I had that you were going to tree him and take him out because you had the best focus I've seen all day. Dave, that was the best tree of the competition. Mike Goff's leap off Rich's arm drop was the best of the night. David fought hard all the way down to the line, but there was just no beating Mike's perfect launch. Even Rich can't hey, believe it. You have never been to a race before. When I say they treated me, it means he did it perfect. My star was perfect. Left lane. He treated me. Perfect. Last round, dude. Oh, Mopar. Oh, Mopar. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> wow, okay, the Mustang. This is it. Out of hundreds, only two remain. The two mics. The Pink's All Out final is about to start. A best of three hot lap showdown with the championship on the line. Both mics have been through one unbelievable day. Mike Goff had to kick his best friend, Joseph Troja, to the curb in the All Out 8. And Mike Grimzinski's mighty Mopar has sent two trash-talking Chevy racers back to their trailers. Mike and Mike have just won $1,000. Now, they're racing for 10. Everything's on the line. But to look at these two guys, you'd hardly know it. Mopar Mike. Mopar Mike. <laughs> and Mike, Chevy Mike. Mustang Mike. Tell me about what you're going to do to win $10,000. Same thing I did last time. I'm racing you. OK, what are you watching on me? Just any movement. I thought you were going to get your bottom handed to you by David Wolf. I really did, because you're just so easy, laid back, easy going, OK? That was the best tree off of my arms all day. Now, 
Hot lap competition. You go right down, you come right back. It's the first to win two, takes home $10,000. Shake hands, good luck boys, and let's race. Thank you, gentlemen. Mike Grimzinski's Mopar was built as a tribute to the memory of his father. And under his steady hand, this great car has gotten him all the way to the final. My boys and I have been building this car for four years from the ground up. Bought it when it was a basket case. There's nothing more you could ask for. The car has been set for a year at least. All my friends talked me into putting it back together and come down here with them. So, so we showed up. Willie, give me some cars. All right, here we go, man. Obviously, you know this one right here, the Ford Mustang powered by a small block Chevy. He stacked up against a 74 Plymouth Duster, 500 cubic inches, a big block Mopar. They're separated by less than two one hundredths of a second. Let's go, boys. Coming up. All the years I was doing that, that was the worst mistake I've ever seen. It's down to the final at the Palm Beach International Raceway. Mopar Mike and Mustang Mike have survived two rounds of qualifying, the 32 car runoff, the all out 16, eight and four. All that's left is the best of three hot lap final. Less than a mile to go to win $10,000 cash and the Pink's All Out South Florida crown. Come back. Rich didn't even get his arms up and he left. Come back. Go. First win, right lane. Straight up mess up. I don't know what happened. I think he went when Rich raised his arm instead of waiting, but we'll see when he gets back here. I don't know, something failed. Are you serious? He's pulled right now, but we'll get it straight now. All the years I was doing that, that was the worst mistake I've ever seen. I think his trans brake failed, Rich. He's been doing that all night. Willie, I was back here. I wasn't even. I know. What can he do next race? Two things may have happened. Get, off, get on the brake. Just foot brake it. Yeah, you can either foot brake it Better. like that if his trans brake is actually indeed broke, or his finger slid off of it, as silly as that Willie, sounds. Willie, poke your head in his car and ask him what happened before he lines up. All right. That's not the way it's supposed to go. They're supposed to race for the money. Hold on, hold on. what we're talking about. He's holding the trans brake, his thumb slips off of it, and he goes. The thumb slipped on the trans brake. $10,000 mistake. It's a must win for the left leg. Come on, focus, Mike. Come on. It is one win to zero for 10 good on the tree and I just held it from there. He did earn it. Presser got to this guy, this guy earned it. No doubt. No doubt. And another Mopar. See ya. Best man won. That's Absolutely. how you ended. I am excited. <laughs> All right, well listen, that was an exceptional race and here's the deal, Mike. Obviously the first one, you blew through the line. Right. But I just wanted you to know, I would have loved if you just would have stopped and came back. I loved your focus, you were on it, so thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having us. Mike. 
Was your experience everything that you wanted to be on Pink's All Out? It was great. You are a man of saying. few words. <laughs> you know? yeah. On behalf of the best team in racing, it is our pleasure we to award you $10,000 cash and name you Palm Beach International Pink's All Out Champion. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. Good job. Mike Goff's cool and carefree style hid a steel-eyed determination to leave hundreds of Florida's best drag racers in his taillights. They say still waters run deep. As for Mike Goff, looks like still waters run all good out. Things happen to good people. That's karma. I'm the Pink's All Out Champion, Palm Beach International.